That makes you so healthy. Maybe a weirdo, but this is my year, yo. My life may be crazy. My lack of the lazy has let me do shit that I love on the daily. Daily. That's our coffee of a crazy bastard. Looks. Ah. Oh, gee, goo. That usually doesn't happen. I just added so much soy milk. That's yeah. Add your soy milk after the coffee is in. I don't know why. I, I will do it from now on. Here we go. Learning something myself when I block. Good morning, vegan savages. I still look like a baby. Wait, I look like a baby. I act like a baby. Am I? No, I have a travel license. Which baby has a travel license? I don't know. Maybe, but I'm not. Today we do another full day of eating, tracking, during my cut. I'm getting shredded by the minute and I promised you I do a sweet day because I have like two days what I eat for dinner and the savory day we already covered in the vlog up there and I got many comments like please do your sweet day and I got you we do that today but we don't do it boring because usually it would be like an ice cream porridge for breakfast and then my sweet smoothie for lunch and dinner but you already know my ice cream porridge and you kind of know the smoothie so we drink the smoothie for breakfast and then for lunch and dinner we make another recipe Melina style because she's full of nice recipes Recipes. Yo, she provides me the best content ever. Thanks, Melina. Nice. So we do something. I don't say yet because I actually don't know yet. Whatever that will. So sit back, fast new vlog to the build, and before we do anything else, let's look into a couple of, couple of your comments because it's always fun. Hey, as always, great video. Definitely would like to see a sweet day of eating as well. Gotcha today. I do have a question though. Aren't you afraid that eating in such a big deficit for a long time will slow your metabolism down a lot? Also, if your body adjusts, it is maybe hard to cut calories even further. Curious to hear what your opinion on this is. Great question. Enjoy the journey. Great name, by the way. The metabolism thing. For me, according to my research, it's mostly a myth. No, no, no. Let me rephrase that. Not a myth, but not so important, basically not important at all when it comes to losing or gaining weight. What is king is calories. Being in a caloric blast, you will gain weight no matter what. Being in a caloric deficit, you will lose weight no matter what. Over time, of course. So uh, that is what is key and king. So if I'm in a deficit consistently, I will just lose weight. Yes, you're right. My maintenance calories will get lower and lower over time because imagine just wearing a weight vest and when the weight vest becomes lighter, all the activities you do, you burn less calories, but it's not much. It may be changing like 50, 100, a couple hundred calories. Will my maintenance calories be lower? But the big deficit is still there, not as big, but still there. So I continuously lose Wait, so that's that. One question, how is the vegan savage smoothie so damn delicious and so damn healthy? That is the question that boggles the entire universe. Huh? I drink it now every single day. Also add ginger, beetroot and amla for even extra nutrients. That's so great. Craze, Perkins, damn proud of you. Then I add cacao nibs after I blend, so I drink it slow and chew. Can you be my daughter? I'm so proud of you. And why is it so delicious? Because it's like a yummy sweet smoothie, but it's so rich because of the nuts, the seeds, the protein powder. It's just a combination that feels whole. I don't really like these fruit smoothies where you drink them and you're like, oh, I have energy and then I low and you're hungry immediately after. After the vegan savage smoothie, which you will see in a second for breakfast, I'm good. I could be good for the day. Did you hear that? While talking, new skill, huh? Can you play a replay of that, Dasha? <laughs> That's my head that I did that. Anyways, why is it so delicious? We find out, let's just, I'm oversharing you. So, enjoy the day, sit back, and let's see if I hit a deficit today, or if it's so uncomfortable in front of a camera. Huh?
one of my favorite exercises for core because I finish my leg training. It's a core exercise which doesn't require much energy but it's so efficient. Actually, we talked about it in the podcast I dropped yesterday with Melina. So I won't explain it here because I explained it there in detail. <coughs> I don't want you to listen to the V-Gains podcast. That episode was so great. We talked about so many things like investing, how I earned 10K. We got to know Melina a bit, a lot better. So definitely listen to it. I link it up here. And now I show you the perfect crunches. If you want to know the details behind it, go listen to the V-Gains podcast. Dasha, this shot is just for you. I just trained and I realized how happy I am to found you because I'm just so passionate about my vlogs and I wanted to find someone who edits them who is just as passionate and it's not that easy because I'm just like crazy passion driven but you are the same so thank you so much and I just want to say thank you for being so awesome. I mean you can just leave it in. My being savages deserve to know how awesome you are and if you're wondering why I look so done and why is this not in focus because I just went in the sauna and it felt amazing and now I start to overshare yo the same shit everything just just kidding we switch it up but in Berlin you know my routines stick to healthy habits that serve you but Dasha you're awesome and I hope we work together long term long term because of you I have so much more time now to just put into other passions more capacities into music into recipe videos into things I couldn't done because the capa capacities were just full for example Instagram sketches for vegan strengths they popped like crazy but they are kind of time consuming so I had like no capacities but now I can bring them back stuff like that so Dasha thanks I love you So hungry, I just wanna eat something. Oh wait, that's why I don't like tracking calories because if I track intuitively, I just eat and I notice in my head and I keep track of it. But if you actually track physically, then you need to weigh it, you need to write it down, so much headspace. But you're my being savages, you're my family, so for you, I gladly do it. Now the question is, Melina. Have you ever tracked your calories for a day? No. No? When you're healthy, I will do it for you, okay? Okay, sure. Because I'm curious, like, how much do you think you eat? Oh my god, okay. Let's, let's do it. How much calories do you think I can eat? No, no. You usually eat per day. Like a guess? Average yeah. guess. Just say something. No, I think for me it always switches up. So, like sometimes I eat nothing a day. And then sometimes I eat a lot. A million calories. <laughs> so just give me a number. I don't know. It's just a number. I don't Probably. Let's say five. Now the, the last days, because I know how to track and I observed you, so there was not even two thousand calories. But she was sick, and when you're sick, you shouldn't eat that much. Um, but I would say, like when you're healthy, she maybe eats. I think she doesn't even hit two k on a healthy day. But we will track it, and we will see. And uh, no, I make the vegan savage smoothie for you, even though. If I see that, I cannot wait to finish the cheese of the mac and cheese. If you haven't seen the recipe, check out the blog from yesterday or on Instagram at vegans food, the recipe video. You haven't even finished your pancakes. Uh, um, but almost. I trenched them in hazelnut butter so she gets more calories. You see that? <laughs> and are you healthy again? Uh, mm. I'm really cold and I have a headache. How long does it take you to get healthy? Especially if you wear like a vegan savage hoodie. Exactly. Okay. It makes you healthy usually. I think what will help you is in there. You want to unpack it with me? Yes. Little puppy. Can you handle that? I'm driving home for Christmas. Melina's first 
product placement, official unboxing. Let's see if she can sell something. No, I can't. Okay, no, put that up. You know how you do unpackings? Like that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Oh, wow, it's so cool. What is that stuff? What was that? It's soya crispies. You know what? Coco has now also soy crispies covered in like cacao chocolate. But since I'm cutting, I, I keep them for, for my next barking face. What's that? In English? <laughs> Nutritional yeast? Oh yeah, right, I forgot. Then it's organic hemp seed, organic hemp seed. Oh my god, this is so heavy. And that's why I love Coco because it's all in bulk, one kilogram. Walnut, uh, yes, right? Walnuts? Oh, the color is so insane, right? Yeah, they're so pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Turmeric. Oh, turmeric, yeah. And then dates. Dates, you can keep them because you're so sweet. Thank you. I can drown in dates, they're so good. Wait, what's in here? What did I order? What's in here? Your good question. Ah, I think we are not allowed to show that. Yeah, put it back in. Yeah, 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 Miles would love this package. Do you know what? Do you know what, yeah? Full of, I don't know, nuts and seed butters, I guess. We got peanut butter, almond butter, more peanut butter, more peanut butter, and I think that's it. That's it. Wait, why did I order so much peanut butter? Aren't I, am I cutting? But that's why I love peanut butter, because it lasts forever and you just cannot have enough. You cannot have enough. And I have nuts, I eat apples and then just move peanut butter. You take apples, peanut butters, and like chocolate or cacao nibs, and an apple sauce. All right, now let's make breakfast smoothie and a snack, and I show you everything because I track, so you see everything that goes in my tummy in here today. Let's go. I'm so hungry. First show. Oh, oh I already showed in the gym. Huh? I hate the sauna. You like sauna? Yeah. Sauna is the best. That's why I get healthy. I wanna, yeah, I wanna take you to the gym, show you the sauna, show you everything. Huh? And today, for my smoothie as a legume, I add tofu. Oh, well, tofu is already in lunch, right? Uh, yeah, I add peas. Oh, well, we don't have to put it in there. I put it in and I take another legume. I take frozen peas as usual. Gonna snack a cucumber and apple while I make breakfast. Here are the calories for those. Melina's enormous breakfast. I added a date to it because you're so sweet. Now, here are all the ingredients for my vegan savage smoothie for today. I list you all the measurements and ingredients with the measurements down below for the entire day so it's easier for Dasha. Now, I just quickly go through it and for the measurements down below. Already have in the food processor frozen peas, frozen spinach, frozen berries, one ripe banana which was also frozen, turmeric, pepper, cinnamon, carob, nut butter, oats, three dates, ginger, walnuts, hemp seeds, soy milk, in my current favorite flavor, banana and cinnamon, also from Vivo Life. Maca, 10% using the code VEGANSEN for all Vivo Life products and the best products are yet to come. Well, that's not a fact because this is already the best product. 5 gram creatine, sesame seeds, algae oil, which I top, lemon, I think I named already the rest. Yep, let's put it all together. Boom, boom, boom. Here are the calories and macros for the smoothie. And because my favorite mason jar is occupied, I do it like Grace Perkins, I think was her name from um, the comment this morning. And I actually spoon it so I can add some soy crispies as toppings and don't eat it that fast. Now, Melina, you say one class, like you can finish, right? That makes you so healthy. Are you sure you can finish that? If not, I take care of that. Of course I can finish That's what she said. And the calories and macros you just saw or still see, depending on Dasha, also includes those soy crispies. <laughs> Let me guess, that is like 80 grams of protein. Insane. Three hours later. Two hours later, rather like Five hours later, it's almost four time for late lunch because it's lunch and dinner combined. We're gonna make, you wanna reveal it? Um, curry with rice. Sorry, my mouth is full. And to be fair, she's feeling really sick, unfortunately. Yeah. She is really dizzy, but I forced her to finish all those pancakes. You need Good. some kelp, and but also scrap like because that is like full of hazelnut butter. Mm -hmm. There are some kelps. Get it in! 
And you know what's so cute for the curry? I was like, she said, buy a coconut cream. And often it's in these big... Cans. Cans. But they have these small cute ones, so you waste less because like coconut cream, you take a bit and then you don't use it and then you throw it away. That's reality. But yeah, they have these small ones. And we're gonna use white rice. I recommend whole grain, but the whole grain I have takes like 40 minutes, the red rice. And I'm hungry AF. So let's just roll the recipe video. <laughs> I'm a bit quiet because Melina is sleeping. Now, let's sum up the day. I call it a day. I will drink another decaf coffee, add some soy milk, and all together, that brings us to a total of 2,462 calories, which is that many carbs, that many fats, and 142 grams of protein. Even though I had just one scoop, Vivo Life performed, that's how much protein you get if you eat like that. Just eat out of variety, eat the right foods, eat lots of legumes and like a scoop Vivo Life performed and protein is on point. I will probably go even a bit higher with protein. So our order of Vivo Life is coming soon where I ordered BCA. So I'm gonna include the Vivo Life BCAAs now. I think the smartest time is while I train in the morning, like muscle protection. But yeah, I show you that in a future vlog once the order is here. And these are my calories for today, meaning a good solid deficit of 1,500 calories. Still feeling amazing. If I feel the deficit like a lot, a lot, I feel it a bit now in the gym, but I, I just feel great. My digestion, everything is on point. But if I feel it a lot, like also during the day, just be hungry because currently I'm not hungry. I don't go to bed hungry, not at all. Um, once I get that hungry and really low on energy and I really feel it in the gym, then I do some refeed days. But yeah, I do it intuitively road to Bali and maybe even road to a bodybuilding competition. One of my vegan savages reached out to me that he would coach me for free and maybe I accept that but he wants me to be on strict macros and I want to track intuitively because I want to burst out recipes and just show you how I do it intuitively. So I have lots more of headspace and when you get to a certain level, like by reading my nutrition guide, vgains.org, the vgains nutrition guide, that you learn how to track, then can do it intuitively and then totally can do it intuitively even for competitions and I want to show you that maybe not now, maybe I do a competition. I put it on my on my bucket list we just go with the flow how about that nice oh. baby face still there beard is coming back i gotta watch it because i want to rock the baby face for a bit so i'm gonna watch a tutorial how to share hey totally doing it totally oversharing all right that is vlog thank you so much for watching it see you precisely tomorrow because i have everything all day peace eat your cheek peace i do love you so 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 much and all say together dasha thank you for editing the vlog as everything all day